Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my YouTube channel. I know I can treat you better than he can and any girl like you. If you're new here, my name is Sif and I'm the founder of Icing and Glitter, which is a blog and Instagram page and I have my own podcast too. So today I thought I would just do something really simple and easy and take you guys through my everyday makeup routine. So I am very much a no foundation kind of girl. Um, and you know, whenever there's makeup tutorials out there, I feel like a lot of it involves foundation. And so I just wanted to show you guys how I do my makeup really plain, simple and very, very quick on an everyday basis. Um, foundation free so that my skin can breathe like it's summer no one wants crap on their face um, if they don't need it um, and yeah so let's just get right into it so um, I already have I've done my skincare routine which is quite extensive if you follow my channel um, I, I just like right now you know my skin is moisturized I have sunscreen on all of that so I'm just gonna dive right in and do my makeup but first let me get my mirror Okay, there we go. All right, so first things first, what I'm gonna do is just use a little bit of concealer. So I use the YSL All Hours. It, I feel it gives me a little more um, coverage than the Touche Claw. And I've said it before a million, million times, um, the YSL concealer, this one, and the NARS one, those are my two absolute favorites, but this one I've been using exclusively for the past I want to say over a year and I'm obsessed um, I use a shade 4.5 and I feel like it's just perfect for my skin tone um, not gonna use very much but this one blends in really really beautifully as well just gonna use a little bit under my eyes okay I'm gonna actually come in a little closer so you guys can see everything okay there we go And I'm just gonna go ahead and blend everything in. I just use my fingers. Um, I feel like it goes on most flawlessly when I use my fingers. But you can totally use a beauty blender as well. Um, I just find that heat of my fingers for everything from foundation to concealer works best for me. So that is everything covered under my eyes. Um, I'm feeling like I have a little bit of redness over here as well. So I'm gonna use a tiny bit of concealer there too, just to clean that up. Don't need much and, oh, what is going on there? Okay, there we go. I just feel like, ooh, that's actually like an upcoming zit. I didn't even know I had something brewing down there, but I do. Um, I feel like with makeup, I'm definitely like a less is more kind of person and I don't like to use more makeup than I feel like my skin needs just to like add those little touches of perfection. Other than that, I just like my skin to breathe and you know, just a little bit of concealer does the trick. Um, Okay, so now I'm just gonna move on to a little bit of brow love. And I'm using a brow gel from actually my brow lady. Um, her name is Olga. She owns a place in Toronto called Rebel and Beauty. And she doesn't have this for sale, even though I keep telling her she needs to. I think she's probably going to at some point. Um, but I feel like this, I've not really found anything like this anywhere else. Um, it just gives me a lot of control and it has like the right amount of product on the brush. Like it's never too overwhelming for my brows. Um, my brows are pretty full as they are. I don't really need a lot of help. I just need something to like perfect it rather and like fill in little gaps. Um, other than that, you know, I don't really need much help with my brows. It's all fine and good now. Um, now that like thick brows are in, thank you Cara Delevingne, but before, like I'm a 90s child and I remember being in school and like being made fun of for like my thin, like, like ridiculous, like, sorry, 
uh, being made fun of for my ridiculously thick brows and then bringing them down to like pencil thin. Oh man, high school was rough. Now with like the Kylie Jenners and YouTube, kids just don't have it tough anymore. <laughs> okay, so that's really all the need, all the help I need for my brows. Um, as I said, nothing, nothing crazy, just a little bit of filling in. Then what I will do is move on to a bit of blush. So let's go ahead and use this guy. Actually, do I wanna use the NARS one? Usually I use like a liquid, but I'm kind of going back and forth whether I wanna do this or this. This is more of like a, okay, let's, let's, let's uh, <laughs> decisions. Um, okay, let's use the NARS Orgasm. So this one little goes a very, very long way. Like literally, I mean that. Um, like be very sparing with the amount you use. So I'm using the Orgasm Liquid Blush. <laughs> that is the name of this shade. I thought it might be something different, but do you see it's pretty pigmented? Literally that one pump on both sides and I'm gonna use my fingers to blend everything in. Usually I opt for like peachy tones, but I've been feeling pink lately. I think this is a really pretty color. And that's it, we're all blended. Okay, now, I'm sorry by the way, I like literally jumped out of the shower and haven't really had the chance to do my hair or anything. So I know I like, I genuinely am getting ready to go out right now and like look human. <laughs> um, okay, so now that that's done, I'm going to just add a little bit of bronzer. I'm using the Tom Ford. It's called Bronze Age. Um, love this one. It's small. I have the big one too, but I just think that this is a really, really convenient size. And I'm just going to roughly apply it all over my face just to bring a little bit of color. There's no contour or anything here. Literally just applying it. Um all over my face to bring it like a little bit of warmth. It's also supposed to be summer, like we're, I mean, I went halfway through June now, but it's so rainy here in Toronto, it's kind of wild. Like it's literally pitch black outside. So, you know, bronzer. <laughs> and I'm actually gonna take a little bit and apply it to my cheeks as well. Why not? Okay, that's it. And then um, I'm gonna be using the new YSL um, Touche Gloss Shimmer Stick. These ones are beautiful. Um, this is, I think this is a champagne color. What color is this actually? Yeah, sorry, no, it's not champagne. This is a rose gold. Um, it's really beautiful. Um, love the new Touche Gloss line. They have new concealers out as well and really, really pretty. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's so, so pretty. Um, and if I'm not wrong, I believe it's cream to powder. Goes on super flawless. And just like subtle enough, you know, like it's not that like it's not that crazy pop. It's very YSL. It's like, the, I think that's the best way to explain it. Like YSL, I feel like it's a very like effortless sort of like effortless cool vibe. And none of their products are just like too poppy or out there. And like this, this, um, this highlighter is like the same as, you know, all their other products. That's not as much as I need. This is, it's like an everyday look. I certainly don't need it you know, on my cupid's bow or like my nose where I'll usually like, I put it if I'm like doing a little more of like a dressed up look, but this is literally just my everyday. Um, I'm gonna finish off with some tinted lip balm. I'm using right now the an Emily Corden. I think that's how you say it. Um, this is the Chic Chic Boom. Um, so this is like a New York based brand and they sent me a bunch of their lip 
bombs and they are so beautiful um they are very very nourishing and the color is really pretty it's like sheer enough like works for an everyday look but still gives you like a bit of color see really really pretty and that is it that's my everyday look really simple I hope you guys liked it and if you guys did don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and hit subscribe below and I will see you guys next time bye guys